Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News with some latest events in the province. And now coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the afternoon of January 11, the 15th National Assembly Rapid Earth did first extraordinary session at the National Assembly Building in Hanoi. The first extraordinary session of the 5th National Assembly officially approved documents including resolution on fiscal and monetary policies to support the program of social economic recovery and development, resolution on investment policy of the Eastern North-South Expressway construction project, period 2021-2025, resolution on piloting a number of specific mechanisms and policies for the development of Cần Thơ City, law amendment and supplementing a number of articles of law on public investment, law on investment in the form of PPP, law on bidding and together with other laws, and the resolution of the first extraordinary session of the 5th National Assembly. Speaking at the closing session, the National Assembly Chairman Vương Đình Huệ acknowledged and highly appreciated the deputies' thoughtful, enthusiastic, quality and constructive opinions, the efforts, determination and close coordination of the National Assembly, the government, the Vietnam Fatherland Front, and relevant agencies and organizations, etc. On contributing to the session's substantive success, the first extraordinary session of the 5th National Assembly has a very important meaning. The results achieved at this extraordinary meeting are expected to make a very important contribution to the successful implementation of social economic development goals and targets, not only in 2022, but also for the whole five-year term of 2021-2025. On January 11, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, Secretary of the Tenin Provincial Party Committee and Chairman of the Provincial People Council, together with the delegations of the Provincial People Council and Tenin City People Council, met the voter Zin Hibin War. This meeting came after the second session of the Rongsa People Council and the third session of the City People Council. Voters of Hibin War contributed idea on urban transport and policy regime such as it is necessary to soon upgrade early 57 Huntong Fast Street. Hibin neighborhood because of long deterioration is current. It is recommended to install traffic yellow lines to limit speed at the intersection between Kemathan Tam and Rains Road because the area often have a lot of traffic at peak hours, causing traffic accident, regime and policy under the Prime Minister decision number 49 for constricted liberal participating in the resistance war, the war to defend the far land and perform international mission. In the morning of January 11, the Management Board of the Economy John inspected the epidemic prevention and control work at companies in Fudong Industrial Park. According to reports, the companies have organized production to adapt safely, fully comply with the epidemic prevention and control measures in the context of the new normal. Currently, in addition to the field hospital number 6 based in Fudong Industrial Park, 10 mobile medical stations have been established. Gen Lucky Vietnam Limited has nearly 16,000 employees using the dormitory with a capacity of about 400 people as an isolation area in case there are absolute cases. Nearly 100% of workers have been vaccinated with two doses of COVID-19 vaccines. Southern Vietnam Co. Limited organized COVID testing for 20% of employees every two weeks. One Thai Vietnam company proposed to be given the third injection for workers to ensure their safety and health to participate in production. Ms. Pham Vũ Anh Thi, Deputy Head of the Management Board of the Ninh Economic John, noted that the companies must fully comply with epidemic prevention and control regulations with the 5K recommendation of the Ministry of Health while ensuring production and the health of workers in the future. Turn to other news. The Vietnam Social Security just held an online conference to review the work of 2021 and the broad task in 2022. Secretary of the Party Central Committee, Deputy Drum Minister Lê Minh Khai, attended the conference. 
Mr. Winterman, General Director of Vietnam Social Security, said that in the past year, with the synchronous implementation of solutions in line with developments and the actual situation, the Vietnam Social Security has achieved a number of important results in which the number of people participating in social insurance, volunteering social insurance, and health insurance continue to grow. Up to now, the whole country has over 16.5 million people participating in social insurance, of which voluntary social insurance reaches over 1.4 million people. How insurance coverage rate reaches over 91% of the population. The implementation of social insurance, voluntary social insurance, and health insurance regime and policy has already been fully answered, especially during the time affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, which has contributed to supporting support and stabilize the lives of workers who lost their jobs. In order to remove the result often, Vietnam Social Security has established a number of key tasks for 2022, in which it will continue to focus on remoting digital transformation making the most of its staffing platform and resources ministry, facilities, information technology in management, and professional activities of the industry to serve businesses and people. Deputy Prime Minister Le Man Kai stated that in 2022, the Vietnam social security industry will continue to perform 11 key tasks and solutions in order to tighten coordination with other ministry and industry. Party committee, locality, and social political organization have well implemented social insurance and health insurance policy and laws. At the same time, remote digital transformation actively and rapidly remove difficulties and obstacles for businesses and people. Synchronously implement solutions to enhance social security insurance, especially for the weak people and workers facing difficult due to the COVID-19 pandemic. With the desire to share and contribute to the community, in the morning of January 11th, Vico Turning Cement John Stock Company signed a donation agreement of 100 million Vietnam dong for the Gratitude Fund and the Children Protection Fund of Turning Province. The signing ceremony took place at the Department of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs with the attendance of Ms. Trương Thị Phương Thảo, Director of the Department, Standing Deputy Head of the Management Board of the Gratitude Fund of Tening Province, and Mr. Nguyễn Công Bảo, CEO of Tening Fico Cement John Stock Company. According to the agreement, Fico Tening Cement John Stock Company will sponsor the Gratitude Fund and the Children Protection Fund of Tening Province with a total amount of 100 million Vietnam dong from 2022 to the following years thereby contributing to accompany the provincial labor in village and social affairs sector to better perform the social security work of the province in the coming time. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the complicated developments of the COVID-19 pandemic across the country, many colleges have been organizing online learning to observe student safety in the academic year 2021-2022. With the efforts of the teaching staff, the curriculum combined with technology has actively supported the attraction. We must acknowledge that not only teacher, but students must also repair carefully in the spirit of self-study and discover methods to adapt and improve on a daily basis. Due to the pandemic, it is impossible to teach and learn directly. Tenen Vocational College has rapidly adjusted its teaching method, encouraging lecturers to design and build online lecture to be able to best impart knowledge to students. But the most difficult thing is that it not can be deployed for students to practice on machine. We try to add to build lesson rules simulation, rule videos for students to learn. The students will also be more active in the time after last. They can be active, they review, self-study to understand, to better grasp the basic knowledge and skill. After the condition allow them to return to school directly, they can practice independently. The lecture firmly changed teaching method. According to the assessment, the online teaching and learning method is suitable for professional studies, economic, business, culture, law. However, students still find difficulties because of after being taught by teacher, suggest material, remaining study ability to focus, and self-study extremely important. With practical content, 
interrelated subject require teaching in practice room and workshop, especially for industry and professions in the field of engineering and technology that require direct practice is more difficult. The teachers are very enthusiastic, but because of all our learning, they are practical subjects. They cannot practice directly, and teacher can hardly guide them directly on the machine. So those are our problems. According to Hu Pham Nhat Hao, a first-year student at University of Medicine and Pharmacy in Ho Chi Minh City, despite some limitations such as not being able to meet teacher and friend in person, online learning provides opportunity for them to practice skill, bravery, and thinking, as well as asset to advance science and stone disease to transformation education. Online learning is a bit difficult without the teacher beside us, but that's why we have to try harder ourselves to study more. For online learning, it may not be as good as face-to-face -face learning with a teacher. We also now 80 to 90 percent of our school has an e-learning pay that pay will have a dedicated lecture by a teacher so we can study there. In the context of the COVID-19 outbreak, many places in general, and Thailand in particular, have turned to online teaching and learning to assist students return learning to a third course term. As a result, in order to observe knowledge as effectively as possible, certain feeling of learning, technology, teaching techniques, and so on will play a practical role in laying a firm foundation and ensuring that they do not fall behind when returning to school. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for joining with us and see you next time.